Hello, this is episode 22, and I want to talk about a client in Rockville who lived in a fairly new condo building in a one-bedroom unit. She had four daughters and was an attorney with a terminal illness. Did she make a will for herself? No, which complicated things a bit. Luckily, most of the daughters got along with each other and were able to come into town and decide amongst themselves who got what. I was called in the beginning of February 2007 and met with several of the daughters. They said they wanted the condo cleaned out by the end of the month, but they needed to finalize what they would keep for themselves. So a week went by before I could get in there to work with my helper, Maxine, and my other helper who had been with me since the beginning of my company. The first thing we did was to take photos so that I could email them to the auction companies to see who would want what the daughters didn't want and could get in there quickly. Also, there was a Lexus to sell, but it was scraped up on all sides because the woman had been having a hard time with the concrete columns in the parking garage. It was a shame there were no outdoor parking spaces for the residents because the underground garage was surely impossible for this woman to maneuver. It was a 1998 ES300 Lexus with only 54,000 miles on it. It had a black leather interior, a multi-CD player, and smelled of smoke. One of the first things we did was to throw out the food. The woman had died in October 2006, and this was February. We had to bring up items from a storage room in the basement. We need to sort and bag clothes for charity and separate out what could go to consignment, if any, clothing. We made a list of what was going to charity, and then at night I used the charitable donation program called It's Deductible to make a list for the sisters to have. It's Deductible has been around for over 10 years. It began as a standalone program, but was bought by Intuit and is part of their TurboTax program now. I believe you can use It's Deductible just by registering. It is a patented fair market valuation process, which is updated yearly to reflect the economy. When I first learned of the program, I found I myself was not taking big enough deduction for things like hardcover books and clothing. We would print out the donation list and send it with the invoice at the end of the job. The list was descriptive of what went to charity with prices and a total. I was told by attorneys that they loved that I provided this as they could definitely show the court how items were being dispersed. It's deductible had categories for clothing, office supplies, storage pieces, movies, books, tools, furniture, and lots more. One day, two of us worked for three hours packing for two of the daughters so they could take boxes home with them in their cars when they left for home in other states. The next day, I met a furniture buyer for one hour so he could assess what was available in the condo. And the next day, we met the movers that one sister hired. The trash hauler came to take away broken furniture and black trash bags, and the man who bought furniture outright and sold it at a shop in Rockville. The day after that, my helper came with me, and we filled my truck and his van with charity to deliver and took down the bedroom drapes. The final day, my other helper, Maxine, came to meet with me to meet the auction company. While I supervised the auction pickup crew, she packed boxes for the fourth daughter who lived down south, and then she swept the kitchen and bathroom floors. We would always leave the home broom clean. We would pick up any large dust bunnies and such from the carpeting, but we would sweep any tile or linoleum floors in a patio.
had a question about what did we do with cell phones. Depending on what brand and how old it was, we would delete the address book and I would donate the phones to a program that gave cell phones to battered women. The phones might have been able to only be used to call 911, but it was given to the women for free. I got a receipt when I took the phones into the sheriff's office at the Montgomery County Courthouse in Rockville and pass the receipt on to the executor of the will. I would wait until I had several or I was in the neighborhood. Now there are also companies that will buy fairly new phones, but usually the phones I was finding were very simple phones, not smartphones, so there was little value to them. Well, that's all for this week. If you are interested in hearing more about estate cleanouts and some of the 800 clients I had over the 15 years I owned my company, Attic to Basement Estate Cleanouts, please subscribe so you will be notified when my next episode comes out. If you have any questions about doing estate cleanouts that I could discuss in a future episode, please leave a comment.